All right, welcome pile one. I've never done this before. I just want to put all the decks I made, well, some of the decks I made with um that I channeled. I want to see if I can find out unconsciously or consciously what you could be going through internally or, you know, whatever. Just kind of testing myself. All right. I think I was drawn to three and four. So y'all let me know, okay? Just want to test it out, right? Test it out. I'm not a psychic. I'm a seer and an intuitive um, tarot card reader. And I just want to see all this stuff I channel. Nothing beats a failure but a try. And I'm known for try failing. I'm getting back up. All right, so let's see. For people who chose power one, what, what are they going through unconsciously? It could be something positive. It could be something negative it could be something internal it could be in your head i keep channeling i'm looking for a new love who sing that song yeah, yeah yeah i'm looking for i don't know and one more all right for people who chose one help me to get out of self help me get out of ego help me provide love encouragement and support Murph. Oh, he can already give somebody something. Hmm. We got Angelica. Feel free to skip this part. Kind of drawn to Wonder Woman. Set her here. And, and Superman. No. Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love, encouragement, and support. It's all in the shuffling, y'all. You can't just throw it out there. It's part of the gift. Here we go. What's this? Sibling robbery. looking at my cards you guys could you could have fell in love with somebody else you could somebody could have offered you um their heart <laughs> don't ask me <laughs> just look at the cards maybe um you could have been a, a person who dealt with your ego at one time you could have um and i'll put one more in it well let's get them. you could have dealt with your ego at one time and as men and women i feel like people think that you maybe maybe you are in some kind of leadership position and I feel like people think that you you can handle everything. And I do feel like you can. I feel like you have, um, um, you know, wide shoulders. I feel like as men and women, you've been through a lot. And you are a person who is a risk taker. I feel like you're, re, um, you know, relentless, restless. restless. You, you, you stay going because Superman and Wonder Woman, those are, you know, and I was drawn to both of them. You could have been in a relationship where you thought the man and woman, 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 man, man was your... Um, you know, your divine counterpart, you know, like you guys were like a power team or something like that. But he looks a little off. So I feel like somebody didn't meet their um, agreement. Somebody wasn't really who they said they were. And I feel like a lot of the pressure is on you. Now, I could be wrong. Now, I'm looking at Angelica Pickles. We know Angelica could be very, um, you know, and conniving and stuff like that. So at one time, I feel like you could have done, um, been very, you know, um, calculating, mischievous. You could have been uptight, temperament, cold, or something like that. And you could have dealt with some silver, um, sibling rivalry. And you could have a passion for sex. So I feel like this is kind of like my cheating betrayal, um, pal. You could have cheated on somebody, betrayed somebody. I don't feel like they so much did it to you. But they could have. They could have maybe because you work a lot and you you know you be gone a lot. That's what I'm feeling. Um, and so maybe they got some kind of emotional connection with someone else. So let me pick up Smurf. Oh, my God. It says you could have been a late bloomer. I don't know if you were a late bloomer. I, you could have been. Yeah, you could have been um, looked over. Um, you could have had an overbearing mother or some kind of neglect, something like that. Maybe you were considered like a ugly duckling or something like that. And as a man or woman, you kind of blossom into a swan. You know, you blossom into this Wonder Woman and Superman. So when people didn't realize that you had on a cape and underneath that um, 
that persona was a, this really um, wonderful and creative man or woman, right? But I feel like people had their foot on your neck or people could have said some mean things or you were under some kind of umbrella. And I feel like people didn't pay attention to you. So we got Mike Jones. I got Mike Jones persona. They didn't want me back then. So maybe in high school, you weren't getting no tram. Men, men, little young boys and young girls wasn't checking for you. So it hit your self-esteem. Maybe your parents didn't look at you. Maybe the sibling rivalry was one was more attractive than the other. Or they expected something somewhere. But... But obviously, as men and women, you must have grown and you've um, you did metamorphosed, right? And so now I feel like you are the man and you are that woman. Now, I could be wrong, y'all. I'm just looking at my cards, having fun. Want to try it out. Um, you could have gotten a big head now. Now you forgot where you came from. I do feel like you have a soulmate um, somewhere, some kind of divine connection with a, a man or woman um and i feel like you kind of overlooked them and i feel like you could still be with your karmics and for new people karmics are people who are supposed to teach you lessons in life and sometimes in love relationships friends family whatever uh, we stay too long we have to cut those ties because it's toxic right um that's a dog get back oh i'm hearing well maybe back in the day these people just take what resonates could have dogged you and now as a man or woman you feel like i got to show and prove now you're in your wonder woman superman energy right but i do feel like somewhere there's some slack and some insecurities right um i figure you had to find your own um way in life you could be very smart very capable of people very capable very energetic um, you just see you like, you know, making conversations with people, people find you very attractive, very, um, ch um, ch 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 charismatic. Um, and it says move away from toxic people. Now I don't have all that on there, but I'm channeling and I channeled these. So it's, I'm kind of skimming. Angelica. Some of you guys could be performers. Don't you like she's performing or you like to perform? You could be on stage or you like that attention that you get. No, I could be wrong y'all, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Some of y'all got some cute little girls, you know, they're very cute, like ponytail. You could do, so that would tell me, because the way her hairstyle is, you could be older, you could be 50 plus, or you could, you know, want a little girl, have a little girl. Um, you could have a little girl that's a transgender, or a little girl who, um, is that called a STEM, who wants to be a boy. You get what I'm saying? Because I don't know why I got that. You could, right? Or, you, you know, or, you know, or a son or something like that, and that's all good, too. Um, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing that. Something about a little girl. Yeah, something about a little girl. So that means you could be traditional because her hair's in two ponytails and ain't like spiked and all that. So you could be kind of traditional type men and women, you know, kind of have your roles, you know. Um, let me see what this says. You could be, you could have been, a, I, I feel like this is your past tense. I really do. You could have been more of an antagonistic type person, very self-righteous, maybe rude, uptight, bratty, kind of cold um, distant, unemotionally unavailable. You could have um, joked a lot and teased people. Wow. Um, or people teased you as a child. I feel like, you know how you get bullied and then the, when you get bullied, you turn into a bully. I feel some of that energy. If you didn't turn into a bully, you verbally say things that could cut or you use people. You then this I feel past. Maybe you use men and women, right? Because it feeds your ego. And I feel like your ego is tied into your performance, your sexual conquest, men and women who you get, how they look, like that. Because I feel like, you know, you maybe you, you were taunted, right? I got mean girl type energy. You could have been mean um, men and women as you got older. Like, I'm hearing extremely temperamental. Very, very rude. Um, This is as an adult, I feel like. Uh, it could have been. Yeah, look at that. It could have had a lot of responsibility. Look at that. I cannot believe I'm making this up. I don't even know if it's true or not. It says you could have had a lot of um responsibilities taking care of your siblings or like household chores or and it could have made you resentment, resentful. You could be um the the first to graduate from college or, or be famous or have some kind of business or something like that. And you could be considered conceited. You could shop a lot, temptation to men. You could be a very strong temptation to men and women. You could be a master manipulator. Uh, or none of that. I got misunderstood. But I do got bullied in school. I do feel like somebody bullied you. Let's see, Wonder Woman. I'm almost done. I'm having fun. Oh, my. I've never done this before. Some of you got really nice bodies, and that's very, very important to you. Maybe the people that you even date have aesthetically handsome and beauty. The bodies that you want them to have, right? Because, I, you know, I like skinny men. And I ain't, I ain't all of that muscles. But some people, they love the muscles and them six-packs and all that. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like you get what you want, right? And as men and women, I feel like you 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 look the part too. 
You could love nature, like nature walks, hiking, whatever. Um, you could be very considered very lovable because I feel like this is your past, but I feel like Smurf is your future. I feel like somebody offered you a couple love or you and your heart. Look at your heart is getting bigger and bigger. The more, I feel like the more healing you do, the more your heart is more open. You're not temperamental, emotionally unavailable, or, you know, uptight. I feel like you're very caring. You, you could owe somebody an apology or somebody owe you an apology or somebody... Um, you know, something, because I feel like you're bringing somebody something. Those smurfs seem like you got a big heart. So I feel like your heart is opening. You could, be, your third eye could be opening. You could have transitioned a lot. This is a power where I feel like things were done to you. You repeated the cycle. You didn't do it the same way they did it to you, but you did it in another way. So you could be a heart broker, break, breaker as men and women. I'm putting this out there. I don't care if nobody don't agree. I want to try. Nothing beats a failure but to try. I made these cards. I channeled these cards. And so it came from, I call them the ancients. So some somewhere i gotta keep playing with these cards because there's some messages that somebody needs to know right people could consider you very lovable you could like eth ethnic groups like you could speak a couple languages one or two languages you could like ethnic food um you know men or women whatever you could wear like big hoop earrings or you like people with piercings or wear big earrings and you could have some that means something symbolism okay so if you got a tattoo or wearing jewelry or something like that i feel like or you know stuff like that it has some kind of symbolic something to you so you could study eastern philosophy meditate meditation prayer um i'm seeing all middle middle eastern and um spain sh stuff like that you could be very hyper sen sen sensitive people like oh god i got people like to dump their shit on you or project because um because they'd be so miserable and they could be ener energy vampires i feel like you peep shit out and now you move differently oh my god look at that y'all get that spirituality eastern philosophy now i wrote this so it wouldn't be a cheat sheet if i looked down and read it but i i did, wasn't looking i was just i'm just talking it's because i wrote this anyway but look at this oh my god so i channeled the same thing actually okay terry but anyway yeah you could be very you know very spiritual person eastern philosophy know how to you could know how to rest and relax where a lot of people don't you could be very bold in your convictions submission you could be very gentle kind compassionate empathetic humble um you could be very faith centered you could understand justice and mercy and grace justice mercy and grace i don't think you were always a person who understood justice justice mercy and grace those are all different words and i feel like that's your model now because i feel like at one time you were that person who could have really hurt somebody's feelings projection that's what i that's what i wanted to motivate um you could project i feel like i feel like this power you could have some mommy daddy issues then i pick up um a overbearing mother on here right you could have absentee father absentee mother some neglect and i feel like you project that stuff on people now i do feel like even though you've grown and you've done a lot of healing you still got some projection because i feel like you see people the way you want to see them and you don't allow people to go through their course in life their journey and so hypothetically say you're in, say this heart you want to give to somebody who's spiritual or psychic or tarot reader or christian or muslim or atheist if they're different from you i feel like you could be still be judgmental remembering that you are as a man or woman a very unique and different type of man or child right and i feel like your third eye or we used to call it when we was coming up my mom was from the carolinas and my dad was from South Carolina, North Carolina, my mom's South Carolina. But anyway, Southern people would say a veil over your eyes, meaning like you got some kind of special gift. And I think you knew that you were special as men and women. But what you did is you did a lot of projection too. And I want to make sure, I, because I hear the ancients say that too. You could be very independent men and women. Um, you could care and fight for the black sheep, the Don, Don, what I put, Don Trotten. I forgot how to say it. Down, down Trotten. Misguided, underserved population, LGBTQ human rights. You could be some kind of activist, you know, like um, volunteer at events, make people happy, give money, something like that, or just volunteer. Um, your model is what's next? Um, you could have a habit. Yeah, because she has a lasso. Yeah, you could have some kind of habit that people don't know. It doesn't have to be a negative habit. It could be a good. Let's, let's deal with super, Superman. Yeah, see, I, and, and yeah, there's some, like, I feel like somebody you're with, I, why do I feel like you have a husband, wife, 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 husband, husband, alien, alien, somebody didn't meet the agreement, this is Wonder Woman, this is Superman, that's a relationship, I feel like you could be with a false karmic, and you're still with this karmic person, don't ask me how I got that, because I made a mistake chasing this, and look at his face, his face looks crazy, 
right? But we know this is Superman. So when I made a mistake, I said, well, this must be a beta, right? You know, because things happen don't happen for happenstance, right? And when, as I was channeling, right? Couldn't color them all out the line. I didn't know my crayons melted and stuff. Get it? So I feel like your relationship is melting down. Whatever's going on, something is melting down. I feel like talking in tongues. You could be very well traveled. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm hearing languages, right? You know no, enough to survive. But anyway, somebody didn't meet their agreement. And so I don't feel like this is you. I feel like the man or the woman you with are more beta and you're more alpha, right? And you don't have that masculine and um, energy, divine energy, feminine divine energy balance. Somebody didn't meet their agreement, right? Somebody could be more um, dominant, more passive, subservient role um, um, in a professional situation, not really macho. Loyal, respect, leadership friendly. They could be very loyal, respectful, leadership friendly, but they rely on others to make decisions. And this man or woman could have a big ego and their ego can bruise easily. They could be considered a follower. They lack confidence and they have a hard time saying no. Lay back, man. No pushover. Okay. But this man or woman, this karmic, he or she's no pushover. Now. They're just humble, more reserved. They could be like have more values and visions. I feel like people like them, but I do feel like they seek validation. I'm not that man. I'm me, right? Or this could be you. Now, it's a, it's, a, it's some kind of energies that's entwined. Follow me here. Somebody in your relationship, I feel like you guys are in a relationship. They're not as confident as they, see, there's nothing wrong with being a beta man or, or a, you know, a beta, I mean, an alpha man or alpha woman, all that, or beta. Th those are roles, right? You know, textbook, right? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying for you, this man or woman that you're with, Somewhere that they didn't, they, they're, they, they're missing something. They're compensating. And I think behind closed doors, they're hell. They are very, they could be uptight, nasty ways, cold men and women. Um, and they follow, and they lack a lot of confidence. But I feel like they look good as hell. Because you got Superman and Woman. They look good as hell, but something is missing. Let's deal with the silver rivalry, and I could be wrong. You're either... You either got brother and sister issues or envious. You could have a, a younger or older brother or sister just envious and jealous of you. I don't feel like you're jealous of your of, of your family members or aunts, uncles, something like that. I got a whole thing. I feel like they're jealous of you. And you know why I say that? Or envious. You know why I said Because we got Wonder Woman, Superman in this pile. And, you know, Wonder Woman, Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, you're not jealous of anybody or envious, but you could have some um, siblings or some relatives or something like that that want to hold you back from finding your path in life, right? Um, because they're afraid to find theirs and they're hoping and wishing, but still. Okay, they could be hoping and wishing to, you know, do different things or um, you know, find out different things. Because I have Eastern philosophy on here or spirituality. A lot of y'all could be tarot card readers or practice, you know, um, meditation or Hinduism. Something, something different, right? Maybe you're, maybe you're atheist, right? Or conservative. I mean, or, you know, or, you know, or um, what is it? Independent. I, I'm just trying to cover stuff. Or gothic. Something about you is different. And I feel like you're, maybe you left your family. Maybe you are in uh, control of everything. Maybe people call you because they feel like, you know, you can handle everything. But something they envy about you because they want to be able to step out and 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 and, and be their true authentic self but they have a lot of um stagnation and they hold themselves back right i gotta go to church mass yeah you could have family members who are in the church or you know the mosque or something like that mass catholic something like that and they're so um traditional you know i do feel like you're still on that journey and although you would because you know wonder woman and superman could fly away and they could do what they want but i feel like still when you get around them you still kind of perpetuate what they need you to be and say so you can't be very boisterous like me like it, you're supposed to pick your battles, right? But if I feel like I'm, if I feel like I'm, you know, getting suffocated, and I'm, I'm visiting you, and I'm respectful, but you're trying to push the Lord on me, you're trying to push Jesus on me, you're trying to push, um, you know, tarot card readings or you know, um, Republicans or Democrats, I'm just trying to cover everybody, atheists. I don't like that, right? Allow me to be me right and um and i just covered a few and i feel like you have that family that you you still have they still kind of push their views on you yeah and i don't feel like they're very well traveled or learning the world and i feel a lot of envious in this pile let's get these last three i could be wrong sit this shit out here silver you might be comfortable
comfortable when I see silver, but you're not wealthy and you could be very um, thrifty. What did I put hand fasting core? Some of y'all could have got married, got engaged. Let's see how your relationship is. Ancient. This is an ancient symbol of tradition, the binding hands of two people in love. It's a Celtic ritual, Wiccan pagan wedding. I don't know y'all. I was just online and I just thought I was I was drawn to this and I just wanted to look the definition. I thought this was cool. Um, it's two one person. It deals with wisdom and life and choices and consequences you may have impact your relationship, marriage, wise choice. Be careful of your words and your actions. I feel like a lot of mistakes was made in your relationship. A lot. Cheating, betrayal, lie, um, misunderstood, not people not really being who they are. See how the Superman kind of look little cuckoo yeah yeah somebody could be dealing with some um drug sex addictions um mental health addictions uh i mean mental health issues and you know hopefully they get some help alcohol um i hear i see some secrets something wasn't right but i feel like on your journey you learned a lot and you got very very wise as a man or woman and i feel like in your next relationship because i feel like this relationship is over right now i could be wrong y'all could all be single but i feel like you're, you're more careful now you're going to be careful with your words and your actions see smurf we all love smurf and i feel like people do love you but you, you you had to grow you had to learn and you learned a lot of lessons and a lot of choices so this is my um i bumped my head i i met a lot of tower moments um tower moments is i'm just gonna say it this way for people like you go through shit and the shit hurts in it and you know a lot of hard times and a lot of you know hard hard times and you felt that shit as men and women but it changed you you know you grew from that shit some of the shit you went through you kept going and going and repeated the same behaviors and you stopped getting the pre same predicted outcome and how do i know that because i got angelica go oh oh you know uh, i yeah you know i did this but i'm gonna do it again 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 so i feel like you could have been very immature at one time and then the people that you are around too so let's just move on to this so this talks about being a great lover sex a bunch of high you aim to please da, 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 da. high sex drive not overly not overly interested in your partner no more I have side pieces you could frequent strip um on um, bars porn sites hookup apps and that that one that people pay to see the stars i don't know you could do that cheating betrayal infidelity emotional cheater um because you can't maybe you can't stand your co-workers or your job maybe you want a new change of job right you're very unique i feel like you're very adventurous and you love travel um i don't want to get into the lover in a bit because it's not that kind of i'm um, reading i'm just trying to see what i can pick up general but i do feel like your relationship is over and i feel like you know that um i do feel like you might have fell in love with someone else or somebody um maybe you're on a higher frequency you're vibrating higher so now you want a different type of man a different type of woman now i could be wrong but i do feel like there's a lot of cheating and betrayal and lie it's a lot of resentment a lot of bitterness you could have tried because you know wonder woman superman gonna work on their relationship so you could have went and got couples counseling marriage counseling got engaged got married or we're gonna try to go to the table and figure out how we're gonna get our relationship back together but wonder woman looking at him like okay look you don't even look like the damn real super um um man so this man or woman you're with could be more fraudulent more not authentic performers personas you know put on shit like that mask and i feel like you're kind of tired of that it says you're not overly interested in sex with your partner anymore so you might not i feel like you have sex with your partner i just feel like you're not you're not you, you left the building you're out you exit and i'm getting your last card you're gonna tell me what i did if i came close you could be prone to being clumsy but tangle athlete i just feel like from this one I feel like you guys were late bloomers, right? Um, you know, you weren't always fine. You weren't always pretty. You wasn't always handsome. You had your own um, way, right? And I feel like you kind of grew, you know, a late bloomer. It doesn't even have to be looks. You could have been fine and handsome, but you could have been clumsy. You could have been awkward. Um, just the L7 square really didn't really fit in. And if you did fit in, you're trying to find your way. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And you could have been wanting to be a, you know, play a museum. I mean, what is it? Why museums? Yeah, maybe. Oh, so maybe you like different things that were different from other people because i just said museums but you could be musically inclined drums band sing so when i'm poetry makeup pretty things want want to be famous so you had to find your way in life maybe you had two or three careers but you definitely had great potential but i feel like you finally found your niche in life but it, it just didn't act it still hasn't self act a lot Apple's eyes, I can't sell Maslow self actualization self actualized eyes from Ascendant Masters. I can't even think. It hasn't reached that epitome that you needed to reach, right? Um, yeah. Uh, but 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 you but compared to where you came from, you're doing good. 
You balling. You could be a little thrifty. You get what I'm saying? But you didn't get to that, right? You know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, um, but you're still working on it, right? You're still trying to find your your niche where you fit in. But as you progress, as you heal, you know, like I always tell people, you know, it's not that I don't need a man, but as I grow, my needs change, right? So when I was younger, I love a nice looking man, right? But now that I'm older, I still want a nice looking man, <laughs> right? I don't care if I'm 90, right? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But I want a kind, compassionate, you know, drug free, you know what I'm saying? You can do drugs, but not addiction. So I'm just giving you an example. That's just an example, right? You know, I don't want no beater. You know, I don't want no womanizer, misogynistic type men. I'm heterosexual. So your needs change, right? And I feel like what you took in the past, you don't take anymore because you're not the same woman and you're not the same man. And this is what I get out of this, right? And so as your potential girl, you might need a mate. You could just want to be single. There's, you don't have to justify wanting to be single, right? But I feel like as you're high vibration, as you're moving, because I got this heart. So that tells me that somebody does have your heart. You played a lot of games. They could have unveiled some of your bullshit. They could have busted you and found out you was married to Wonder Woman or Super, and your husband was Superman. You get what I'm saying? But the silver lining is, silver lining is, I feel like you've changed a lot. I do. I feel like you've changed a lot. Um, and um, you want you want something more substance. And you've done a lot of healing. And you're getting rid of toxic people, places, and things. I could be wrong. I'm going to wrap it up. That was fun.